and today we're going to draw a Ferris wheel. Yeah, you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil and a marker. You also need some. Some paper and some linen coat. Yeah, parents and teachers also be sure to check out our t-shirt shop over at Teespring. We've got links in the description below this video. All right, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first start with our pencil and we're going to draw the general shape to our Ferris wheel, a big circle. So we're going to start up close to the top of our paper and we're going to draw a big circle. We're going to fill our entire paper. And if you want, you could use a template if you want to draw a perfect circle. I think it's fun practicing drawing that freehand. So I drew it again because I wanted to make it a little bigger on this side. I'm going to, I don't know, I might need to start over. <laughs> I'm going to do it a couple times and that's all right. We're just practicing, right? I'm going to go over a couple times. Uh, yeah, there we go. And I'm going <laughs> to use my eraser <laughs> and erase the extra lines. Next, we're going to split our circle in half. So we draw a line straight down the middle. There you go. And then we're going to draw a, another line across the middle going this direction. And we're pressing kind of hard so that our art friends can see the lines on the camera, but you guys at home could press lightly so it's easier to erase. Now let's split our circle again. So we have quarters, now we're going to have eighths. Then we can draw a diagonal line going this way too. Like a pizza. It does look like a pizza. Now I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> All right, let's add a few more circles. I'm going to draw one right here in the middle. And then I'm going to draw another one, maybe a little bit bigger, coming out further. There we go. Now we're ready to switch to our marker. And we're going to draw the little seating pods going around our Ferris wheel. And let's start up here at the top and we'll draw one first. Right here we're going to draw a straight line across. And the middle of this straight line is the middle of the circle. I'm going to draw it about that size. Yeah. Then we can draw the top. Oh, let's add a little circle right here. Maybe that would help too. We can do that on all of them. Let's add a circle where the line comes out and connects with the outside of our Ferris wheel. There we go, all the way around. Ooh, we could even add more lights or more circles, little circles for lights later. Now let's draw the top of our little pod. So I'm going to draw a curve going over the top. Then let's draw the bottom of this little chair. I don't know what these things are called. I keep calling them pods. <laughs> I'll draw the letter U. And then we could draw a line coming across. This is where you sit. Oh, we could also add a smaller U for the door. <laughs> Little door that you get in. <laughs> Let's repeat that same step for each one of these circles going all the way around. So draw the straight line first. Then we'll draw the top curving over. Then we're going to draw that U shape comes down, crossed and back up. Then we're going to draw the line straight across and the door. Let's repeat those steps one more time so that we've got it memorized. So we're going to draw this line straight across too. I like that we're keeping the pods so that they're not tipped and the people will fall out. <laughs> that would be a That'd scary be fa Ferris very wheel. Very scary Ferris yeah, wheel. Yeah, some of them are like that. Not this one. There we go. We draw the top. And then we're going to draw the letter U underneath. And then we're going to draw that straight line across and then the door to get in. This next part we're going to fast forward because we're going to just repeat the same steps that we did for each of these three for the rest of the Ferris wheel. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Remember to pause the video so you can take time to draw the rest of your little pods too. Now let's draw the rest of our Ferris wheel. Let's draw the center circle. We could also draw a smaller circle inside. There you go. Now let's draw the structure that's holding the big wheel up. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes down and it's close to this one. And I'm going to draw also a diagonal line that comes down 
on the other side too. Yeah. Then let's draw another line next to that one that we first drew and the same thing over here on this side. Make this thicker so that it can hold it up. Then down at the bottom, let's draw the base. We're gonna draw a horizontal line. And if you need to, you can come back in and connect that brace or the structure into the, into the base. We could also make that thicker. Let's draw two more diagonal lines that are shorter. And then we can connect those at the bottom also. Next, let's switch back to our pencil, well, our eraser, so that we can erase the guidelines. Let's first start in the middle, right here. We can erase the guidelines out of that center circle. And then also I'm gonna erase the guidelines going down the brace. Let's also erase the guidelines inside of each of the pods. So you could also erase it from the roof and the part that goes through the door. Now some of the pods might not have any guidelines going through them, but like this one right here, got one through the middle. This one's going through the roof. This one's through the roof also. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. We can switch back to our marker and let's trace over the guidelines. So I'm gonna start here on this center circle. I'll trace around. And then also complete the circle in between those two braces. Then we can also draw the outside circle. Then we can draw the lines that come through to the center. So we can start on the outside and then draw all the way through to the center on each one. Ferris wheels are really fun during the day, but I think they're even more fun. At nighttime. Yes, how come? Because it's all lit up. Yeah, all of the lights. Well, let's go around and add little lights on the outside of the Ferris wheel. Ooh, we could even add them going through the center too. This is gonna make it really colorful. This part will fast forward again, so remember to pause the video. You can take extra time to add these lights. You could also add more decorations, or you could even add people inside of each of the <laughs> chairs. That would be really cool. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it, we finished drawing our Ferris wheel. We even added little people. That's, yeah. that's my favorite part. <laughs> Wait, except we're not completely done, right? We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video and take time to color your drawings. But before we color it, let's also erase any of the extra guidelines that we can still see. Okay. You ready to fast forward? Mm -hmm. Sadly, we finished coloring and drawing our Ferris wheel. It looks super cute. Did you have fun? Yeah. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? You can add a background. Yeah, the rest of the fair or the circus. That would be really cool. And lots of roller coasters. Oh, roller coasters. That's your favorite, huh? We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Ferris wheel. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. We'll see you later, our friends. <laughs> Goodbye. Man, you like Ferris wheels, don't you? Yeah. What's your favorite one? Uh, the Mickey Mouse one in Disneyland. That's my favorite too. But one of them rocks. I know, I don't want to do that one. I don't want to go on that one. That one looks like it'll make you sick. <laughs> <laughs>